Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you'll be fine. This is Cambridge University uh, Primary Mathematics Learners Book 6 and we have started with chapter number 1. Exercise 1.1 and we have already done with question number 4. So today we are going to start with question number 5. So here in this question what do we have to do? We have to expand the given number and we have to figure out that which of the digits are missing. So if we talk about 37.844 it is 30 right? plus 7 then comes point that is the decimal so it is plus 8 upon 10 plus 4 upon 100 plus 4 upon 1000 okay so before even looking at the whole question we are going to open up we are going to expand the number that is given on our own so if we look at this number now we can easily figure out that which of the five are missing in uh, the expanded form the 30 is given yes 7 is given yes then 8 upon 10 is missing so we can write it as 0 0.8 okay we will write it over here then 4 upon 100 that is 0 0.04 is given yes it's there so we are left with the last one which is 0 0.004 we have talked about it in detail that if we have been uh, provided with the decimal uh, digits so we are going to expand it either in fraction form or in the decimal form so the last one would be 0 0.004 and that's all so you can take any of the number and you can practice these questions the same way for example we have a number 162.57 so what is this number this is 100 plus 60 plus 2 okay these are the whole numbers when we talk about the decimal so it is 5 upon 10 plus 7 upon 10 now we will figure out that which of the numbers are missing so if we talk about 100 100 is missing so we are going to write it over here then 60 60 is done 2 2 is done then 5 upon 10 5 upon 10 is 0 0.5 so we are going to write it over here then 7 upon 100 is 0 0.07 so it's already there okay sorry it's 0 0.07 so this is how we have to complete it similarly let's take one more question over here for example we have 90.243 okay so what would it be it would be 90 plus 0 because in the units place we have a 0 then we have three decimal places then we have 2 upon 10 then 4 upon 100 then 3 upon 1000. So what would it be? It is 0 0.2, then 0 0.04, then 0 0.003. That's all. So if any of these numbers is missing, you just have to expand the number which is given on your own and then you have to figure out that which of them is missing. So you will fill, it, fill out the blank uh, uh, related to it. So, in question number 6, that's what we have to do. Patra is regrouping decimal numbers. She spills ink on her work. You can see that two of the numbers are missing over here. So, what number is under each ink blot? 0 0.546. 0 point means there is no whole number. So, it's starting from the first one, it is 5 upon 10. That is 0 0.5. Then 4 upon 100 is 0 0.04. Then 6 is 0 0.006. Now, since we are provided with 0 0.4, it means... We have to figure out that which of the number is missing. What are we going to do in this case? We will add these two and then we will figure out that if we subtract this number from the sum of these two numbers, what number are we going to get over here? Similarly, here we are going to do, do the same. We will add these two numbers and then subtract it from this one to figure out that what number is going to be there. First of all, we will add these two numbers 0 0.4 plus 0 0.006. Okay, so it becomes 0 0.406. Now, in the next step, since we are provided with the whole number over here, which is 0 0.546, so what are we going to do? Now, we will subtract it from the given number. So, it would be 0 0.546 minus 0 0.406. And when we will subtract it, we will get 0 0.41. So, it's 0 0.14. So what is the number missing out there? It's 0 0.14. How do we know that it's 0 0.14? What are we going to do? We will check if after adding these three numbers, are we getting 0 0.546? Let's check it. So we will write 0 0.4 plus 0 0.14 plus 0 0.006. 
now let's verify that if we are getting the same answer by adding all these or not so here we do not have any decimal places we will add the 0 0 0 6 is 6 0 4 0 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so it is 0 0.546 you can check it that yes we are getting the same answer over here so what did we do we simply add the given numbers and then we will subtract it from the given whole number right same we are going to do with part b so we will repeat the same process first we are going to add 0 0.7 with 0 0.07 so it's 0 0.7 plus 0 0.07 is 0 0.77 okay then what are we going to do we will take 0 0.789 and then subtract it with 0 0.77 then we will do it we are going to get 9 minus 0 is 9 8 minus 7 is 1 7 minus 7 is 0 so it's 0 0.019 so the answer would be 0 0.019 now you can check your answer if we add 0 0.7 with 0 0.07 with 0 0.019 so what do we get here we have two zeros. 0, 0, 009 is 9, 0, 7, 1 is 8, 7 plus zeros is 7. So this is 0 0.789, which is the given number. You see how easy it is. So whenever you are provided with the expanded form of number and some of the number is missing, always do the same technique, right? So you are going to get the correct answer. Okay, now the very interesting question is out there. So we have to learn that whenever we multiply or divide any number by 10, hundred or thousand what happens okay so let's try to do it using a single number let's take a random number out here okay when i'm going to multiply it by 10 what will happen the decimal will move one place to the right side and it comes between three and two and the answer would be one four three point two okay now if we have like 14.3 to the same number and when I will multiply it by 100, then what will happen? The decimal will move two places forward. The number of zeros are directly proportional to the uh, movement of the decimals. Okay. If we have only one zero, we will move one place to the right. If you are multiplying it by 100, we will move two places to the right. So the decimal will come after 2 but since 2 is the last digit so we are not going to write it at the end the answer would be 1432 1432 now if I multiply the number by 14.32 by 1000 then what will happen so my decimal will move three places forward but I do have only two decimal places so what should I do now since I have to uh, forward the uh, decimal to three uh, places after so I have to put a zero over here okay if any digit is missing so I will put a zero so this number would become one four three two zero that is fourteen thousand three hundred and twenty now let's do the same process by division so if we have fourteen point three two and I have to divide it by ten then what will happen Earlier we were multiplying it by 10, 100 or 1000 so the decimal places were moving to the right of the given number. Okay, But since we have to divide it, now my decimal will move backward. If I am dividing it with 10, it will move one place backward and it comes between 1 and 4. So it becomes 1.432. Okay. So the original number was 14.32 after dividing it by 10 it becomes 1.432. Similarly if I have a number 14.32 divided by 100 now my decimal will move two places by backwards 1 and 2. So here comes the decimal and it becomes 0 0.1432 okay. Now if we have to divide it by 1000 then what will happen? Since we do not have three decimal places before the given decimal place. So in this place again what are we going to do? We will add a zero over here. So here comes the decimal and it would be 0 0.01432. And since there is no number before the decimal so we will add a zero over here. So you see this is how the number changes. From 14.32 these are the transformations. 143.2 
That's all. Now let's get back to question number 7. Here we have 7.2 multiplied by 1000. What will happen when we will multiply 7.2 by 1000? The decimal will move 3 places forward. Let's write it over here. 1, 2, 3. Here comes the decimal. So I will have to add 2 zeros over here. And it will be moved from here. So the answer would be 7200. Right? Then in part B it's 0 0.85 into 100. So what will happen? We have 0 0.85. It will move 2 places forward. There are 2 zeros in the 100. So it becomes 85. Okay? Then we have 4. 2, 8 into 10. The decimal will move only one place forward and we have two decimal places. So it will move only one place and comes in between 2 and 8. So the answer would be 42.8. Right? Then we have 670 divided by 100. Now when we will divide the number, what will happen? The decimal will move two places backwards. Now you cannot see any decimal over here. So the decimal is at the end. Okay. Always remember in a whole number the decimal is hidden at the end of the last digit. Now it will move two places backwards because we are dividing. Okay. Always remember if we multiply the decimal will move forward. If we will divide the decimal will move backward. So it comes between seven, 6 and 7 and the answer to this would be 6 point seven zero you can write it as six point seven zero or six point seven both means the same then we have one fifty one divided by thousand so what will happen we have one fifty one over here and the decimal will move from the uh, last two three places backwards one two three here comes the decimal and the answer would be zero point one five one and the last one is five point five divided by ten so what will happen? The decimal will move only one place backward and since we do have one place before decimal, so here comes 0 0.55, the final answer. Okay? So you have to practice these questions and it becomes very easy for you to solve. Now we are provided with uh, some cards, number cards in question number 8. We have to write the letter of the card that is 1000 times bigger than 12. 1000 times means 1000 multiply by 12. So 1000 multiply by 12 equals to 12,000. It would be C. So we will write C over here. We just have to write down the letter card. Okay, letter of the card. 100th of 12. 100th of 12 means 12 upon 100. 1 tenth of 12 is 12 upon 10. 1 thousandth of 12 is 12 upon 1000. Okay. 1000 times bigger than 12 is 12,000. 1 uh, 10 times bigger than 12 is 120. 100 times bigger than 12 is 120. Uh, 1200 sorry. So 12 upon 100 is 12 divided by 100 is equals to 0 0.12. The decimal will move two places backwards and it becomes 0 0.12 which is D. So this is D, right? Then we have 1000th of 120,000. What is it? It is 120,000 divided by 1000, right? 1000 means divided by 1000. 100 means divided by 100. 1000 times means multiplied by 1000, okay? Now it is 120,000 divided by 1000. We have already learned that if we do have uh, zeros in both numerator and denominator of whole numbers, then we cut down the number of zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. What are we left with? It's 120. It means the answer to this would be part E. So it's the sequence given of C, D, E as A, B, C. Okay. Now in question number 9, it is Mira divides a number by 10. There is a number. She divides it by 10. Then divide uh, by 10 again. And then by 10 again. So she divided the number te by 10 thrice. Three times. It means she is dividing the number by 1000. Okay. And her answer is 0 0.005. So it means the decimal has moved three places backwards. So what number did she start with? It was definitely. What are we going to do? We will simply multiply the given number by... 0.005 to uh, uh, find the original number what are we going to do we will do the reverse that is we will multiply it by 10 then by 10 then by 10 
बिकॉज दे डिवाइडेड इट बाई टेन थ्री टाइम्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन थ्री टाइम्स सो टेन इंटू टेन इंटू टेन इज थाउजेंड एंड वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई नंबर बाई थाउजेंड द डेसिमल विल मूव थ्री प्लेसेज बैकवर्ड्स सो इट बिकम्स जीरो जीरो फाइव पॉइंट जीरो दैट इज फाइव ओके बिकॉज वी डू नॉट पुट द जीरोज बिफोर द होल नंबर इट वुड बी फाइव पॉइंट जीरो ओके सो वी कैन राइट इट एज फाइव होल नंबर इट मीन्स इट वॉज फाइव बिकॉज वैन वी डिवाइड फाइव बाई टेन वी विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वैन वी डिवाइड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव विद टेन वी विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एंड वैन वी विल डिवाइड जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव विद टेन वी विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव ओके सो वेन एवर यू आर प्रोवाइडेड विद दिस टाइप ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन यू जस्ट हैव टू डू द रिवर्स ऑफ द गिवन ऑपरेशन इफ दे आर मल्टीप्लाइंग अ नंबर देन यू विल डिवाइड इट इफ दे आर डिवाइडिंग अ नंबर देन यू विल मल्टीप्लाई इट एंड दैट्स ऑल सो अप टिल नाउ वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड विद एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन एंड इन शाला इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू सो अंटिल देन टेक केयर डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू एंड डोंट फू गेट टू शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट मोर स्टूडेंट्स कैन बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस वन ओके सो टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़